Okay, there's one last thing I want to do for lesson two, and that's set up the email for our new uh, website domain. So you want to go to a browser and put in your new domain, hit enter, and that'll bring up the regular site, but if you want to get to the control panel, you put in cPanel, or forward slash cPanel, and it will log you in. I, see, I have saved my login information, but if you haven't saved it, then you can put it in manually, and this login information was in the email that HostGator sent you. So we'll click OK. Okay, so now the control panel comes up, and I want to go down to mail here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up an email account. So we'll click on this first icon, email accounts. And an email account is really easy to set up. So I want to start by putting in the beginning of the email um, address that I want. So in this case, I'm just going to make a generic one, and we're just going to do something like info. Info at online solutions today com, and if it's a valid email address, it'll display this check here. And then you just want to use a password, and then verify the password again. And as you can see, there's a strength indicator down here as to how strong your password or how secure your password is. So in this case, the password I put in is pretty weak because a stronger password would have more letters. It would have a combination of capital letters, small lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. So in this case, my password is weak, so I'm going to try a different password. Okay, so this time it's very strong. So you want to you want to use a combination of numbers and letters and you want to make it you want to make the password at least six characters 68 characters long okay so now we want to go down to here and we want to click create account and that's all it takes to create that account so you, down here you see account created and it will list this email address and it has a usage quota here. We won't worry about that too much right now. And if you want to access this email address directly online, or this email um, directly online, you can click here, access webmail. And that'll take you to a webmail interface where you can log in. But we won't get into that right now. Um, I, I think the easiest way to get started is to go back to home so in the upper left hand corner it's going to say home and you want to scroll back down to the mail section we're at the mail section and you want to go to this icon here called forwarders you want to click on that and when you get here you'll see that everything is blank so there are no forwarders configured for this domain and what a forwarder is is if an email is sent to your new email address that for me it's info at online solutions today com if somebody sends an email to that address I want that email to automatically forward to another email address that I have so that's what I'm doing here and this is because it it just makes it easier if you have several websites or you have several different email addresses that you can just send all these emails to your regular email address and you only have to check one account. So we'll do that for now. We can set it up later so that it, it it's an email address on its own, but I'm just going to do that for now. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Just click Add Forwarder. And you're going to put in info. Oops, info here. And the rest of the the rest of the domain is here so that's fine 
and then you're going to add the forwarding email address so whatever your email the email address that you use the most I would forward it to that address and you can click on the advanced options to see some of the advanced options but you won't need these advanced options and that's what my settings look like so I want to click add forwarder and it confirms that the forwarder has been added then you can click on go back and as you can see under forwarders this all emails sent to this email address info at online solutions today dot com will be forwarded to my primary email address here so once you complete that that's all the videos for lesson two and you are ready to move on to lesson three